I just gotta talk about it cause it needs to be talked about. I don't even let know why you ain't done it yet. Somebody say something. Aliens of Shield commentary. Scale of 1 to 10. 10 being the best, 1 being the lowest. I give it a 6. I give it a 5. Um, on a grading scale, A through F, I give it a C. Let me understand something. The previews had it built up that it was going to be something so good, so epic, and so out there. And us, as comic book nerds and fans of Marvel, and Marvel fans anyway, we were going to watch it. So it had a big premiere turnout. And then I turned out, and then I've been the same ever since then. It just keeps getting lower and lower. This is the black guy from the first episode, which is probably was the best episode. I mean, it was okay, but they taking too long to get to the, the storyline. I mean, I understand anticipation, but they're not doing it right. If it's gonna be anticipation, they don't have good dramatic. They don't have dramatic music. They don't have dramatic camera angles. It's just not really dramatic. And the storyline is really weak. It's really weak. It's really weak. The biggest storyline about S.H.I.E.L.D. is about Star. The made up character who hacked S.H.I.E.L.D. with a laptop. A laptop! I mean, she, she revealed to have skills or something, but she hacked S.H.I.E.L.D. with a laptop. The biggest storyline is finding out who she is and who her parents are. That's the biggest storyline in the show. Everything else is a subplot. The second biggest storyline is find out what happened to Agent Coulson. Because we know he was dead in the Avengers movie. But no, not really. So that's the storyline. There's two storylines in S.H.I.E.L.D. Which all good shows need two storylines. All this stuff happening in between is extra. Nobody knows what's really going on. I don't understand what their mission is. I don't understand what they're doing. I don't understand their purpose. I don't understand what they're fighting for. Nobody really knows what they're doing. Now, the show can't be about all the S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. But if it's going to be about Coulson and his team, separate them. Don't let them be part of S.H.I.E.L.D. Make them, let's say they're traitors. They did something. Nick Fury fired Coulson. He started his own team. Make them, make them worthy of something. They just seem like a group of team who put together. The previews always make you believe that it's something. But I still yet to understand what this episode is about. Something about Centipede. I guess you gotta read the comics to really know. And then they did a Thor. I didn't see Dark World yet. But then apparently they did a Thor episode. You know. If Thor had a hard time finding it then. I don't know. Up, oh, Lady in the Flower Dress just stole the little black man's son. Right. And put on mute then since, since it's not the show anymore. How do you mute it? Anyway, I'm just saying. I don't know why I muted it. I'm done talking. Really? Just. Hey, Aliens and Shield, you do better, man. I think it, this is more. This show is more has a law and order trend to it. And I think it'll be honestly better. It has a law and order theme to it. And I think it'll be better, honestly, as a law and order show. Like, if it wasn't S.H.I.E.L.D. The only reason it's getting any play now is because of the Marvel reputation. More so law and order and criminal minds. Those are good shows, which they S.H.I.E.L.D. is trying to be like. They should have modeled it a little bit more after them. It's really just law and order inside of an airplane that's not as good. Or maybe it's maybe we're giving it such a hard time because it's Marvel, because of Shield, because coming out the movies and doing this show, you know, I don't expect it to be as good as the movie anyway. But I don't know. Everybody was expecting more. I was expecting more. And these are not good actors. I must say that I'm not a good actor necessarily, neither. I have never seen these people in any other role. I've seen Coulson in a couple of a Lifetime movies. But these people are not good actors. They don't have any emotion to what they're doing. They're just saying words. Which I know is supposed to be that way. Because they're soup, they're agents. And they're, they're hurt on the inside. But uh, they're not that great of actors. 
Not at all. Nobody in this show is that great of an actor, that great of an actress. Not at all. It's one of them, like, you know, I like Tyler Perry movies. Every now and then, he pick actors who just say lines instead of with emotions. It's one of them things. Not that great. So, Shield, you, you kind of disappointed me. I'm still going to watch it every Tuesday night because nothing else is really on, but still, you know. I'm a loyal fan, only because I'm a fanboy and a comic book nerd who's trying to get to Comic Con someday. But other than that, you're failing. Failing. Miserably. Alright, that's enough. You guys get the point. Comment, like, subscribe. Tell me how you feel about the Agents of Shield. It's an old show now, but the plot. The episodes have nothing to do with the plot of the show. I have no idea what the episodes are about. Nothing whatsoever. The plot. The plot is about the girl and her parents and Agent Coulson and his death. I don't know what the rest of this stuff is going on. Alright. Comment, like, subscribe. Me, she, she is disappointed me. They did. They put in it free in the episode, but wow. This, it's supposed to be big and powerful. Why does it seem like they're a part of something, but they don't want to be a part of it and nobody likes them? Just be one or the other. Either you in or out now. You can't. You can't just have a separate branch and have your own team and be use their resources. But they don't want to give them to you, but they want to. Come on. Either you in or you out. Either you on the team or you not. It's... No. Alright, comment, like, subscribe. God bless. Go in peace. Play the imagination for life. Your remembrance always. Believe in what you want to be. I just got to talk about it because it needs to be talked about. I don't even know why you ain't done it yet. Somebody say something.